In this podcast episode, we're going to talk about five ways to instantly get over a bad mood. Your very first step when you realize, man, I'm in a bad mood. I'm the one carrying negative energy. I'm the toxic person right now. I'm the one with this bad energy. How do I fix this? How do I fix this bad energy I'm dealing with? The very first step is you have to get to the root of your problem. You have to figure out why am I dealing with the problem? What is the problem? How is this problem affecting me? And most importantly, don't start complaining about the problem. Figure out and shift your brain to how can I solve this problem? What solutions are immediately available to me to fix this problem? And what solutions may come to me if I do these extra steps? You want to figure out what is my problem and how do I fix it? And then you want to move to action. You want to move to fixing the problem. Okay. The second step when you realize, man, I'm in a bad mood and I need to get out of it. The second step is don't do the pity party thing. Don't try to bring other people onto your ship. If you're on the, if you're on the ship of bad mood <laughs> and the ocean of bad mood, don't try to bring other people onto that trip with you. Let like you care about them too, right? You care about your friends, you care about your coworkers. So protect their energy and just let them know, "Hey, I'm not doing great right now. I'm I'm dealing with it. I'm okay in life, but I'm just not okay right now. So I just need 20 minutes or I need half the day or I'll call you when I'm ready to talk. Whatever it is, don't bring other people into your pity party. Keep other people out of your pity party. You know, it's great when we're struggling and we can get help from others. It's great that we can get validation from others. But if you feel like you're strong enough to handle what you're dealing with, just handle it. Just handle it and don't bring people in. All right, step number three, and I feel like this is one of the most important steps. If you feel like you're in a bad mood, step number three right here will heal you. You have to just ask yourself, how long do I want to feel this way? You have to ask yourself, how would you feel if you just let it go? I'm willing to bet if the next time you get in a bad mood, you ask yourself, what if I just let this go? How would I feel? Why am I holding on to this? I bet if you had that thought, you would let it go. You would just simply say, you know what? This this anger I'm holding on to, it's not even worth it. What, what am I even mad about? What am I even upset about? You know what? I'm going to let this go. It's not worth it. If you realize that you are in a bad mood, this step right here is something that will help you, especially if you are an impact. Ask yourself, is my mood impacting other people? See, if you're an empath, you want your moods to impact other people, but you want your good moods to impact other people because as an empath, you're going to feel good when other people feel good, right? So you're going to want to create and cultivate good energy to give and to share. But doing that all the time is not realistic, right? Because we have anger, we have disappointment, we have sadness. So if you're an empath and you don't have the greatest mood, ask yourself, is my mood impacting the other people around me? And if it is, you may have to do what I already told you. Number one, you may have to figure out the root of that because as an empath, we don't want other people to feel bad. We don't want people around us to feel bad. So you got to really examine, hey, how is my mood impacting other people? The fifth step to clearing a bad mood. If you are in a bad mood and you do exactly what I'm about to tell you, it will go away. But you have to do this. A lot of people don't do this. You have to say, hey, I take full responsibility for my mood. I take full responsibility. I take full responsibility for my mood. And a lot of people say things like, well, this person did this to me and this person triggered me and this person said that and they place the power outside of them. But if you just simply say, hey, you know what? I'm responsible for me. I don't want to feel this way. So I'm going to shift it. I'm going to shift the narrative about how I feel. Mm. Here's a bonus tip. Always remember what I'm about to tell you. This is tip number six. This is a bonus tip. If you ever get in a bad mood, all right, all your feelings are validated. All of your feelings matter. Everything you go through matters in life. Okay, let's let's just establish that. You're in a bad mood though. 
and you don't want to be. What you have to do, and remember these words because these words will heal you when you get in a bad mood. Say this to yourself. I am going to change the narrative in my head right now. Now, I'm not telling <laughs> I'm not telling y'all to be crazy and psycho and like make up a lie about reality. I'm talking about specifically when you're in a bad mood, you can just change a narrative and just simply say things like, I no longer want to feel this way. Or the 